Um, well, I'd actually I'd seen the a rehearsed reading of A Face That Fits at the Archies, and I absolutely loved, loved the script um, and the story jumped out at me straight away. So I just approached Sean, the writer, um, and I asked him if he had a director yet. Pretty much um, pinned him against the wall and said, uh, I would love to direct this. So yeah. What interests me about the piece, um, particularly first hand, is the humanity in it. Um, it's very, very philosophical. Um, it's very real. And you have two human beings, a very, very young human being, who is still to experience it all, and a very, very old, well, older human being who has experienced most of it, if not all of it, already. Um, and that contrast is, is great. It's very, very, very interesting. At the Edinburgh Festival, um, well, it's actually the first time I'm going to be involved with the, the Edinburgh Festival. Um, so that in itself is exciting. But I think that the eyes of the world are there and there's so many creative, you know, creative mind, um, creative minded people there. You know, you've um, you've actors, you know, writers, directors, uh, there's circus performers, there's all walks of life coming from all corners of the globe, coming to Edinburgh for this just crazy, crazy like creative month, and to be in the city um, for that month is 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 fantastic. There's just such a it's good vibes, good vibes coming from everywhere. You know that there's pop up shows in the back room of a pub or or even you know grander scale plays like the, the Traverse or, or anywhere else, like anything goes. It's brilliant, yeah. Rehearsals so far, um, not a few weeks yet until we, uh, well, not a couple of weeks until we open, um, but they have been, the way I like to work, being an actor as well, I like actors to, I like them, I like them to have room, you know, room to breathe, room to manoeuvre, um, to create and to answer a lot of questions themselves. Um, the rehearsals, I would say, have been relaxed, um, but I always come in with with a focus. At the end of rehearsal, I, in my head, quietly want to hit certain markers, um, and if I hit them, great. And thankfully, with the two actors that I've had in Mark and Vincent, we've hit every marker after every rehearsal so far, which has been great. But it's it's an open book. It's not this my way or the highway. That doesn't work. It's not creative. Um, it's always a collaborative with me, always. And I encourage actors to think in their feet and to, to take risks and to take chances, you know, use their own initiative. Um, and the way I see it, I'm just outside looking in. I'm a silent observer um, when I'm directing and I just flag things up when something's a bit off. So that's, that's how I work and that's how the rehearsals have been. And I think it's, it's working, you know, for all three of us because we can all breathe. Uh, the directing background, um, uh, my first ever play I directed was with a cast of 15. Uh, that was scary. That was Terry Pratchett's Weird Sisters. Uh, that was a few years ago. <laughs> and that was uh, just, just crazy. Um, I learned a lot. I learned on my feet. Um, yeah, it was... It really, really thickened my skin. Um, and I realised how, how rewarding it is to be a director, but um, how, how challenging it is, but also being at the other side of the fence and, and watching it all and, and, and helping mould things is, is fascinating. Um, and I took directing as my, that was my final thing I took at university, you know, from my honours, that's, that's what I took and I, I love it. I find it's the, the thought process is very, very similar um, as an actor. Um, and going to that as an actor, um, I've been lucky, I've done a lot of theatre stuff in the past. I've worked at the sits, I've done, you know, the Tron um, and I've done my, you know, my Scottish badges, as it were, like I've, I've done Taggart and, um, you know, jobs like that. Um, I've been lucky that I've toured Europe toured abroad, you know, working in children's theatre. Um, yeah, and also do a bit of writing as well on the side, you know, like some sketches and, and, and comedy stuff. So I try and keep myself as, as creative and as and as open as possible. I think it's good to do, you know, to do many things. Yeah. That I've been involved in the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Ah, uh, oh, that's a good question. Um, it's probably, I just off the top of my head there, it's probably a really embarrassing moment where I, I, I was touring and there was one 
show, it's called The Great Detective, and it's for children. And there's a scene where um, they think, I, I played the butler, so it's sort of interactive murder mystery, but for children. And I played the butler, and the, the police officer comes in, and um, the basically it sounds a bit sounds a bit strange, you know, with children, but um, but it's you know Germany, Europe, they're all very quite liberal there. Um, I had to get strip search, but I've got I've got obviously got boxers and all that on underneath and these kind of big silly daft like Simpson pants and things, um, and I wear a vest. But um, one day I forgot to put my vest on. A really early start, I forgot to put my vest on under my shirt, and then when my shirt gets ripped off, it was just Velcro. When my shirt gets ripped off. I I just I felt. I felt quite bare. I thought I've, I've I've left a lot of children scarred for the rest of their life, you know. But yeah, it was it was quite funny. It gave the other three actors I was working with. Um, I never lived that down for the, the other four months of the of the play. I hope that the audience will. I want them to just just go away and just be asking questions about life. So a lot of lovely messages in there. It's very philosophical. It's, it's it's great about you know about embracing life and just just taking chances um, and making the best of what you have, yeah. And just yeah, just re just really 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 living life. And I want the I want the audience to go away asking questions. I'm never going to spin feed. I still want them to know what what's happened, you know, to the older man, the younger man. What 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 happens after that? Always. Um, I want them to go away asking questions, but I also want them to feel a slight warmth. Hopefully, they'll go away and they'll think, "Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and I'm, I'm going to take more chances, and you know, and I'm not going to worry about silly stuff, and I'm just really, really going to, really going to embrace." But I hope I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after the fringe, well, I certainly hope I get more directing work. Um, that would be nice. Uh, whether that's with you know other companies or, or you know Minfly again, Minfly Theatre somewhere down the line, um, I certainly wouldn't say no. Um, I love it. I want to in the next few years you know get into lecturing to a certain extent. Um, in terms of an actor, it's an unpredictable game yeah, as well, and I've absolutely no idea what's what's going to be happening. Um, but I'm just going to be um, just trying to get my face out there as as, as best as possible, and hopefully mine fits as well for for certain people. Yeah. <laughs> it's been great. Um, I've been allowed to. The the trust that's been shown has been. Has been great. I felt incredibly flattered. Um, you know, an honour to be doing such a such a great piece. And I th and I think um, it's been like I allow the actors to you know to move and you know, as, as I say to breathe. Well, I've been allowed to breathe. You know, and and to create and to. For myself to take chances and try different things um, as a director, it's all about experimenting. And um, Sean and Neil have been coming in and out. Um, you know who who own Moonfly Theatre have been coming in and out, and Sean the writer as well. Um, and it's been nice just to sort of show them, you know, what I'm up to. But I've never ever felt any, you know, under any pressure or you know pushed or they've just we have a shared vision for this. And they've allowed me just to run with it. And because of that, I've allowed the actors to run with it to a certain extent. Yeah, it's been nice.